Rounding Wolf, they got a great point guard in Bez Mbang. And if you're not jacked for this game, if you're a player, I, I can't help you. There's so much to play for. I'm trying to take a breath myself. Sean Campbell in the middle to tip it up. John Gaffney and Greg Evans, the other three, two officials. Here we go from Levium Gymnasium. Yale back in the final where they fell last year to Princeton. Trying to avenge that. As James Jones told us, his team is still feeling that loss from last year. That carries that chip on their shoulder into today. Wolf. Not a strong start. They close the door to Levian. He's got that capability, but the other two guys who can really shoot at number four, number three, John Pulakitis and August Mahoney are drillers. Told us about Kino Lilly Jr. is handling the ball. He is now two-time first-team All-League selection. Leads the league in scoring number 10. Banana Owusu Anane on the ball had a huge game. Double-double as A.J. Lesbert almost gets the friendly roll. And then for Yale, Bez Mbang spinning, turning it over. Defensive player of the year in the conference. Yeah, good steal by Nana Owusu Anani. He played so great yesterday against Princeton. The double-double machine. He almost had a double-double in the first half yesterday. How at all do you think nerves can factor in? Obviously, not the best two possessions for Yale to start. Yeah, I think I think the nerves are there. Give me that ball. Right to us. You didn't even reach for it. Yeah, no. Nah, well, it hit me in the shin, but I, you know. <laughs> I knew it wasn't a pass for me to shoot it, so I didn't think I would go for it. Right there, John Pulakitis going to the deck. Two guys playing hard, and I think the nerves are going to be there. You're going to be jacked up. Then you got to play with some poise. You got to... Take that excitement, play it at a high level on the defensive end, but playing calm and playing poised in championship situations is what's going to get you over the hump. Five on the shot clock. Uso Nani, good kick, wide open. Lindell Errol, the bucket. He hit the first three of the game yesterday against Princeton. He's the guy who's going to be left wide open, and what a pass by Nana Uso Nani. He is now 5 of 11 in league play, so Errol does not shoot a lot, but as you mentioned, making one yesterday and one today. And Errol came into the lineup, A.J. Lesberg came into the lineup against Princeton, and that was a big reason that things turned around for Brown. And you got to know the scouting report on yourself. Other guys are putting up huge numbers. You're going to be open. Get ready to knock it down. And bang over to Matt Nolan, who did not play in the first game against Brown in this matchup earlier in the year as Mahoney's filed. 22 and White was a former first team unanimous All League player last year, dealt with injuries this year, but he's a beast coming off a great game yesterday in their win over Yale. Yeah, and he's, he's been so banged up, he's really not practicing. So just playing in the games, getting tip dunks. Yeah. How about that for a dream scenario? No practice, just play in the game. It's like, what a, what a dream as a player. If you're really good, I did that my yeah, senior year. Yeah, yeah. We were like, moving around all the time and playing the games. Let's just say I wasn't putting up double doubles yeah. like Nolan. Didn't go so well. Well, it looked like he felt fine yesterday. He was he was excellent, and Yale got that balanced scoring attack. And this guy at the free throw line, August Mahoney, he's a 44% career three point shooter, and he came out and was on fire in the first 10 minutes. It was a big reason why Yale took control. No surprise for Mahoney and 90 plus percent free throw shooter to your point too. You can shoot it from all the different lines. 3-2 early. Musu Anane, top of the key. They let Kino Lilly Jr. give it up and then he's going to run off a bunch of doubles. They love getting him the ball on the move. Alanya finds it. Lesper wide open. The second three of the game, no good. Oh, big discard. Trailing John Kulakitis. Transition's a bit of a key in this game. Can they make Brown play a half-court game? The Yale coaching staff talked to us about. And I think they also got to attack Danny Wolf, make him guard, make him move on the defensive end. Nice. Driving Wolf, can't get it to go. Shot clock does not reset, five on the clock. by Mieoni. Coach Jones let me know that Mieoni's the best on-ball defender he's ever played. Not Mieoni, Bez Mbang. I'm having a flashback to another great player. But Bez Mbang, the best, the best on-ball defender he's ever coached. And that's high praise, as we, we've mentioned. He's got great players, especially over the last 10 or so years. He's had a ton of first-teamers. And guys that he's unearthed, that's Mieoni being one of them. And then you can keep going. Greg Mangano, as you talk about before, kind of starting that trend of high-level players he's developed to be first-team all-league guys and some NBA, including maybe this man, Danny Wolf. Yeah, great 
Use of the left hand by the big fella. Tight curl got to the glass. Back to Lester, 12 in the shot clock. Anya posting up Nolan. Shot clock ticking down. Somebody's got to get it up. One. Billy saying shoot it. Arrow will not get it up. Good crowd on hand for both teams here right now, making their voices heard. Yeah, they know what's on the line. A trip to the NCAA tournament. The fans are loving what Yale's doing on the defensive end. But if you're Kalu Anya, Got to get into your move faster. He, a little too plotting, a little too methodical. You got to know the clock situation. Anya had a double double yesterday in their victory over Princeton as well. Cross screen for Wolf in the post. Singled up. Gave it to go and Arrow controls the rebound. So pretty good D inside, forced a tough shot by Danny Wolf. No call. Well defended by Yale. Nolan head up. The lefty going to his weak hand. Back to the left. Doesn't get it to go. He's down. Ooh, jeez. Wusu and Nane landed squarely on Nolan's body. Yeah, big physical rebound by Wusu and Nane. And just unfortunate positioning. It wasn't for me, Dallin, but highfalutin guy from Princeton. Celtics won the championship with the Bill Walton team. You know, the last the last one with Larry Bird, and it's been a while for Brown. And the, these fans, this alumni group is pumped for this opportunity. And you just got to give a lot of credit to Brown for hanging in their season. They had six wins. And that's what the difference of having this tournament, because, I mean, years past, as Lily hits the shot, that team that team's done. There's no turnaround. Yeah. There's no seven-game win streak. Uh, I lived it. I'm not sure you maybe had a one or two seasons where once you're out of it It's hard to keep seniors fully engaged and and the young guys coaches turn to the young guys here It's like no we have something to play for and they turn their whole season around now one seven straight and have a chance to do something historic Yeah, and playing in this tournament has been a great experience for these student-athletes And we're seeing that there's a lot of parity in this league obviously Princeton only had three losses before they fell to Brown yesterday Nolan with a good move on the interior to his left hand. Wusunani tripping Maintains possession though. Kimo Ferrari 23 checked in. He's looking to get up threes. Had 39 in the game senior night a couple weeks back against Dartmouth. There's a floater from Ferrari. No good. Yeah, he was 10 for 12 from deep. For a guy who averages seven points a game, he put up 39. It's unconscious right there. Nolan back to work. Ooh. Oh, we had him once. He gets oh. a second time. Fouled hard by Malachi Nadur. But Matt Nolan is so crafty. He's, he's great from about 16 feet in. And he just really doesn't miss these little flippers, jump hooks. He, he's He's got a really unique game. He doesn't really shoot the three. And he's very comfortable floaters with either hand. And that, that post move, man, little shake, little dream shake, and then a lot of contact. Led the league in, in field goal percentage last year at over 63%. This year he floated with the same number up in the 60% in league play. He's been banged up all year. He's a preseason pick for player of the year in the conference. James Jones says, as you mentioned earlier, he doesn't practice as Nick Townsend checks in for Nolan. But he says, I haven't seen anything different. Like in the games, he looks like the same dude. So formula's working. Yeah, and instead of being so top-heavy, the Yale team is incredibly balanced. Five guys averaging double figures, and there's just nobody you can kind of help off of or, or, or key on. You have to guard all five because they're so... Well balanced. Madura hand off to Lilly as M Bang. Looks like he got a piece of it. They're gonna call a foul on Ferrari for just jumping on Mahoney. Yeah. Every year we see it. Point of emphasis, you can't dive through people's legs or jump on top. And it's a good call. You're not allowed to just jump on top of somebody. Looked like Keno Lilly Jr. just dribbled it right off his leg. And August Mahoney, one of the toughest players for, for Yale, got right on the ground. Around four turnovers already in the game. They have an issue they've had on the season, their turnover rate. Bottom half of the league, bottom 150 of the country. Repeat a shot, no good. And 
Greg Evans says we're going down the other way. Both teams doing a good job inside of playing physical and chesting up, but they're showing their hands. So we're not getting any of those reach fouls. And if you're driving here in a championship situation, you got to drive to score, not drive to get bumped, because they're not calling those little bumps once you're in the air. And bang guarding Lily. Lily is the leading scorer in the league, 10 and Brown. Over 18 a game. And bang is the now two-time defensive player of the year, so a phenomenal matchup. Between two and ten, there they are again. Six on the shot clock. Usanane, oh, blocks. He's really having an effect on him. Usanane's complaining to the refs. Ball going the other way. Yeah, and it was a clean block, and it was an excellent adjustment in the air by Danny Wolf. Tony, good drive, weak hand. He couldn't finish. There are three lefties that start for this team. Bulakitas also a lefty. All right, nice touch pass to lead to a break. But Yale's been excellent in transition and closing on shooters. Lesbert, third attempt, still can't get one to go. Right there, Keno Lilly Jr. initially on the break looked like he had a shot. They closed that space incredibly quickly. So they know you don't have a man in transition. Get out, identify shooters, and force them to run some half-court stuff. And bang back to Wolf, over to Mahoney. Townsend on the post up. The cut and finish. Yeah, fantastic chemistry. Nick Townsend gets it in the post, looks right into the middle. John Pulakit is able to finish. Inside the Madura. Only first space he's gotten. Oh! Wolf. He can go up the bounce at seven foot plus. He loves to spin back to his right hand. Tough shot to pull it. goes. Yeah, tough shot taker, tough shot maker. Coach Jones told me he's the best shot maker since Azar Swain in terms of off the dribble and creating for himself. It's a hand on the ball. Lily's back on it. Yeah, they got to get Lily going on the move. Not having much success one on one. Great rebound by Nadir out to Ferrari. They need it. Don't get it. One of seven from the three-point line right now. The Bears are a number of them are really good looks. And he's a, he's a great shooter. Got a good look at it. A little deep. You can tell Yale with the lead, taking their time. Girls are once in the interior, not going to get it. Step back. That's a tough shot. Great rebound by Townsend. Better block, though. Lily on transition, step back. Yes. He's so dangerous. He had made 84 threes coming into the weekend. He plays 93% of their minutes. He's never coming off the floor. That's fifth in the country. Those 84 threes lead the Ivy League this year. That was a big one. They needed it. Yale, you know, number one in defensive efficiency in the league. M bang. It's not usually his shot. You see why. They're having a little punch, counter punch. Both teams playing well. John Pulikidis, how about this shot? Locked up, Arnold. We, let's be honest. We all thought we were probably going to see it again here today. But Brown outplaying Princeton yesterday, a team that was 24 and 3, now not going to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, and Coach Jones told me that in 22, he thought Princeton had the better team, and Yale won the championship. Last year, he thought Yale had the better team, and Princeton wins. It goes to Sweet 16. Yeah. This is the 13th best league in the country. I mean, this is a deep, talented league. NBA players, potentially. So much talent. Yeah, this is a way different league. We say it every year we've done this. And you and I played it. It is a completely different thing. Better athletes, better players. I guess I'm happy I'm 40, because I don't think I'll be playing right now. Listen, a standstill shooter can find his way on the court down. Don't sell yourself short. Stand Danny Wolf can throw you the ball. You can shoot it. This is true. Pulakidis in trouble. Dribbles it off his foot. Five on the clock. Good kick to Townsend. That's a pretty good look. Hits it. And he's an excellent role player for Yale. Can knock down the 15-footer and the three. And great poise by John Pulakitis to not just force something up there. Dirt isolated against Wolf. Wolf's done a really good job defending. He's got two blocks already. With seven rebounds. Can't get back to that one. But Dirt, huge three. 
Out and the kids to the crowd. What a great jump pass by Keno Lilly Jr. You can really pass the basketball. Double figure assist yesterday. And the fact that he can make that fadeaway shot, open up that pass. I seen Garamu just checked in. His three is short. Lilly Jr. is charging up the floor. Into Ferrari. Aaron Cooley hit that game winner against Yale last weekend in overtime. Eight of the shot clock. Anya's got to go. Double team comes. Pulakin is helping. Good block. The ELD has been tough. They've been recovering two or three actions. A great shot block. No call, but Townsend's there to clean it up. And just more great minutes off the bench. For Nick Townsend, his brother played at Yale, class of 2015. He's a great student, and he's just been making the most of his minutes this weekend. His brother, a former Rhodes Scholar, so doing some pretty impressive stuff on his own right, but Nick playing at a high level in this game. Embang, they're going to call. Oh, Lily. Oh. Yeah, you know he doesn't like that call. Bez Embang trying to deny him the basketball. Keno Lilly Jr. feels like he's being held. And they got him for the discard. Let's see right here, right side of your screen. And I, I think Bez Embang is holding him. And when you're getting held as a cutter, you're supposed to cut through that arm and, and, and violently show the ref, okay, I'm getting held. I think they missed that one. That's a big call because that's Lily's second. And as you yeah. mentioned, he doesn't come off the floor. He's not in this situation, but him in foul trouble could significantly change this game. Mahoney spinning back to his strong hand. Got it. And physical drive. I thought he was getting hand checked right there. You got to be tough in a championship situation. You got to play through contact. And Bang pressuring Lilly out to the half court line. Two of the best guards in the league. First team All League player and Lilly's second team. And M Bang gets the screen hard. They switch him. Now Garam, better matchup for Lilly. He gets hit on the shot. Yeah, he's dangerous to guard when he gets into that float dribble. Six-point game. Yale is up over Brown here. Do not one of those two teams is going, UAB or Temple. Who would have predicted that? Yesterday was insane in terms yeah. of what happened with NC State getting an auto bid, knocking off North Carolina, Oregon taking down Colorado. We just went over the American Championship. is going to be another bid stealer. Just crazy. Yeah, just a nuts, nuts day in college basketball. That means a lot of bubbles were bursting. And like, that Temple team lost 10 games in a row early in the season. They might go dancing. And then you got here Brown, a team that was six and seventeen. If they win today, they're in the big dance. I mean, it's just around the country. You just can't pick chalk this year. I mean, when you fill out your brackets, you, you got to look a little deeper. You got to look for some upsets. No doubt about that. I mean, we had historic. You saw the one seeds that went down. We had ranked teams losing to unranked teams and, and record numbers this year. So teams outside of UConn, there's a lot of you know still a lot of questions. Houston and Purdue in that class as well. Mahoney to his right hand can't get it to go. And it'll stay with Yale. And I, and I think this Yale team can win two games in the tournament. They're, they're built for it. And you, you have the seven-footer who can match up with anybody. They went to Gonzaga this year. They went to Kansas. They, they played high major teams. They played Kansas really tough. And Danny Wolf went right at Hunter Dickinson from the jump. And, and he outplayed him for most of that game. It was up for about 25 minutes in that game, but it is hard to win in the fog, and the Jayhawks eventually pulled away, but they are battle-tested. Coach Jones said it takes an act of Congress to win there. <laughs> Nothing applies anymore. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nolan to the 10, kicks it out to Townsend. Can't get it to go. Nick's feeling it right now, though. He's put four points in his time off the bench. Lilly. Back to clue on you. Ferrari floats it into Anya. The contest count it. That was a great pass up top. Kimo Ferrari shouldn't be an and one. Thought he was very vertical. I thought it was a good contest by Nick Townsend. But right here, great roll. They love that kind of naked side handoff. There's no help. And excellent finish inside by Kalu Anya. But I think Nick Townsend is doing exactly what you should. Well, now on a second look, he jumps into him, shows his hands. Good call. On it to the free throw line. Not good this year, though, in league play. Shooting about 58%. And there's a miss. And they're the worst free throw shooting team in the league. 
They're only down two right now. Low scoring affair here. Alongside Noah Savage, I'm Dallin Cuff. I believe men's final at Columbia University is Matt Nolan trying to work. Kicks it out to Mahoney. One of the best shooters in the country. Boom. A 44% for his career. He's a driller. He was huge yesterday. He can hit it from deep. You just have to have your hand up around August Mahoney. Yale's first made three of the game. They were 0 for 6 prior to that. Oh, he puts his shoulder right into Nolan. Oh, what a tip. Wusu Anani. Yeah, the, the, the miracle hand, like the Statue of Liberty coming through all those bodies. What a tip. And you notice it, Brown is not doubling Yale in the post. And, and they have three guys who can post, and, and they're, they're looking for the double. It's not coming. All right, into the trees. That was not going to happen. He had Ben Zembang on the kick out, too. Brown harassing Lily Ferrari wide open. Again, Brown cannot hit from deep. Three for 11 in the game. Nolan isolated. Nanya. He get it to go, bounce around, and eventually into the hands of Lily. Up to Ferrari. It's a battle under the boards, Dallin. I mean, you got to go up strong to get the rebound. Great steal there by Nick Townsend. Ferrari just jumped into Garb's leg. That's an easy call there. How about Nana Usu Anane? Right here. A couple of Yale players going for this basketball, but look at this. Man, what a tip. I mean, it's not enough to, to put a body on him. You got to move him out of the way. Nana Usu Anane, excellent offensive rebounder. He's having himself a great weekend. I mean, he was he, he looked like the best player in the league yesterday against Princeton. He came out, played confident, knocking down threes, playing huge inside, a number of dunks. Second team all Ivy player, the junior from Ontario. He will be back. As will Kill as will Lily on the turnover. That's one thing that's interesting. We talk about the transfer portal and, and NIL, and this league has been insulated from by and large, been insulated from it. NIL, what I think will play a factor. So many of these young players, yeah. Xavier Lee, Caden Pierce, both sophomores, Malik Mack from Harvard, those two before Princeton guys. People are going to make bids. Yeah. But the minutes continuity, both these teams are top 25 in the nation. Kids don't tend to transfer out. Well, you that helps build the continuity. You want the degree, right? And, and it's a 40-year decision, not a four-year decision. So that's what these coaches can continue to convince recruits of is it will be good for, for yourself as a person to get a degree from a Brown or a Yale or a Princeton. Wusu and Nani out of control. Wolf has really defended well at the rim. And yeah, they got a five on four here. Looks in the lob. That was telegraphed, but finds the hands of Pulakitas. Kick to Nolan. Gonna go through Lesbert. Kicks out to Mbang. Fez, what a finish! Oh. Man, spectacular horizontal. Kiss off the glass, Bez Hembang. Lily able to get his feet in the paint for one of the rare times. Kick out to Lesberg. They got it. They needed it. And you see the, the Yale defense sliding, the reaching in. You got to play strong with the ball. Great pass by Keno Lilly Jr. And I love Yale playing through Danny Wolf. Let him operate, let him create. Not the best spacing. Mahoney kind of standing right next to him. Mahoney missed another bunny. Yeah, pretty good luck inside. Cooley attacking Wolf, his third block of the game. They didn't go for the Euro step, sat right on it. Great timing by the sophomore. He made such a big jump up this year. Wolf on the post up, guarded by Wusu Anane, two all-league players battling in the post. We're good. And yeah, now you're seeing, I think, a little bit of the fatigue coming in because both teams were so jacked up at the start of this game. Just have a little bit of a letdown in the first half. Lester, oh, blocked by no one. Oh. They got numbers again if they wanted. 
Five blocks by the Bulldogs on the game. Wolf spins into trouble. And bang, 25% from the three. And you see why the ball is right there. Four point lead. And where it's the two man game on a naked side where there's no help. So there's not a third guy in the corner. That's been really good to Brown. But it's been a, bit, a little bit hard to see because I think Yale's bumping them with the chest legally, playing physically on the defensive end, and taking away some vision. And Danny Wolf playing well defensively. Eight rebounds, three blocks, but he can do a lot more on the offensive end. As a team, Yale has five blocks, three of 12. Now four of 13 on twos, the Brown Bears are. They cut the lead to two. A little scoop inside hand. Blue on you. Yell no fast break points. They're clearly just trying to get into their half court offense. Well, Keith is able to turn the corner, kick out to Nolan. This is not normal for him. Oh, in and out. Big rebound. Ferrari couldn't save it. Great play for him by him on the backside, though. And yeah, Matt Nolan really doesn't shoot a lot of threes. I think that was his ninth attempt on the year. He really does not shoot a lot. And, well, I gotta admit I was wrong, Dallin. Jalen Brunson has been a, a <laughs> wonderful, wonderful addition for my New York Knicks. Is there somewhere you're on wax maligning the moves to bring him to, to bring him to Manhattan? A lot of texts where I said, wait, we gave hundred million to a backup point guard. Boy was I wrong. Boy was I wrong. <laughs> yeah, I like I like you taking your freezing cold take and having accountability <laughs> for it. That's good. We, we need more of that in today's world. <laughs> Absolutely, you know. He, he's been awesome, and they're just they just keep adding Villanova guys. They're just making the New York Knicks Villanova. They got the great chemistry and culture. You know, Lily drops it off to Wusu Anane. Lily's got seven on the game. He's got the ball now with seven seconds on the shot clock. Goes by him, bang. Oh, close game. No good. And he saw Danny Wolf lurking. He could have got a little bit closer, and he just saw him there, and he changed his shot at the last second. How does that affect you when you've got a guy block, not only a shot blocker, but a guy who's already got three in the game? You know, you, you you shoot different type of finishes, or you're thinking a little bit, all right, should I dish this off? And, you know, you're, you're just not used to seeing that. And there's some great big guys around the Ivy League, but not that many seven-footers. And I, I don't think we've seen a seven-footer who has his package in this league. There have been guys, whether it was you know, Judson Wallace or Princeton, who's 6'10 in an old era, that could shoot threes and play that. Princeton style, but he's legit seven feet tall and a lot of guard skills. He dives now into the post and wants a touch. Nolan's trying to get it to him. They do. Six in the shot clock. Double came. Nice read. He's such a natural passer. He knows where to look. Great timing and delivery. And how easy is that if you're Matt Nolan? Beat it down low, cut, get the return pass. Now, Mike Martin took out Keto Lilly because it was offense defense. We have the stoppage, and Lilly's on two fouls. So now, this last possession, playing through somebody else with the shot clock off. Yeah, get it to Wusu Anane. Look for him to go set the high screen. Sharp pass inside and off the hands of Arrow for their seventh turnover of the half. And Lindell Errol was actually open. Now that may, may have worked, but. Embang at the buzzer. Into the bench and no good. Four point lead for Yale at the break. Yeah, it, it's been an excellent defensive performance by Yale. Neither team can really hit a shot from downtown, but they're playing incredibly hard and they were fantastic defensively. I thought they were physical. They were present. They closed five block shots in the first half. Big fella inside had three of them. Hey, Danny Wolf, the sophomore, the seven-footer. number of NBA scouts are here to watch him perform. He will most likely play in the NBA one, two, three years from now. Who knows? But today his offensive game has not been great. His defense has been outstanding and rebounding. He's been huge in the first half. And I think if you're Yale, get him a touch almost every possession. High post, low post. You give him a touch, you move, he'll find you. Suanane, top of the key without a dribble, six seconds in the shot clock. AJ Lesper to the 10, kicks it out. Usuanane, and out. Great rebound there by Anya, and there's a jump though. Yale yeah, ball. And then Usuanane is a capable shooter. That was good offense by AJ Lesper to find him. But again, just not able to knock down the open shot. Yale now 
4 of 14 from 3. That matches their 2-point output, 4 of 14 from 2 as well. Yale has defended the rim very well. Pull the just wide open. He's too good of a shooter for that. And you see why. They spent a lot of the season in the top 10 nationally percentage-wise. He's a spectacular shooter. A little breakdown there by the Brown defense. He just touched foul as he tried to get over the handoff. Man, right here, a little down screen. And Brown just gets blown up by a screen. They leave John Pulakitis open. He's stunned. He's like, I can't believe you left me open. It's a refreshing feel for a shooter, especially this league. This league is only eight teams, smallest league in the country. So well scouted. These guys know each other so well. We got the smartest players in the country and the least information. So it's only eight, eight teams. So, so the scouting is fantastic. Lily off the screen, open himself, buckets. We got right on cue, both teams calm down a little bit, knocking down some open shots. If you're Yale, you gotta get Danny Wolf a touch here. Again, this Brown team has won seven straight games. They did something we've never seen before as a four seed. Wolf tries to get the rebound in his foul. They beat Princeton, the one seed in the semifinal. Only four of the top eight, four of the eight in this league make the Ivy League tournament is the sixth edition of it and it was a battle for the regular season championship Yale was up there tied for first the entire way Cornell for a moment was in first Princeton the entire way They only had three losses coming into this weekend And three 20 win teams came into this tournament I thought any one of those three can go to the, the, the tournament the big dance and win a game or two Yale is right there Yale's deep they match up well with some of those high major teams. I really think they have a chance. Well, they got to survive. Yeah, yeah, they got to win first. Because, again, Brown beat them on up in New Haven at Yale's floor just last weekend. In overtime, Aaron Cooley made a shot that not only won the game for Brown, but took away an Ivy League crown or share of it from Yale. They finished 11 and 3, Princeton 12 and 2, Princeton becoming three peak champions, and Yale having to settle for the second seed. Cooley hits the shot. Yeah, when he starts dancing, he gets that float dribble, feels comfortable. He's great at pulling up. Great one-on-one -on -one move just to create the space. Lapidus fading. Now this is heating up a little bit. And we saw him hit the fadeaway on the other side in the first half. That time going to his strong hand. That's a tough shot. he make it look easy. Side for Russo and Nani. Lily. It's two man game. Great strip by Nolan. He's got Mahoney up ahead. And Mahoney finishes. Yeah, excellent timing by Matt, Matt Nolan. August Mahoney leaking out, filling the break. Look how hard Bez Embang has to work. He's just got to sprint all over the court to try to stop Keno Lily Jr. And switch out on him and good contest by Nolan. Brown saying the ball went out of bounds. They're upset. Kicked out to Wolf. Doesn't kick it down to Nolan. Eventually does. Lutitas. Pocket pass. Oh, there's Mahoney wide open. That's what you want. Can't get it to go, though. John Gaffney may overrule that as the baseline official. He will. Danny Wolf active inside. Just gets a hand on it over Owusu Anane and gets Yale another possession. Broke his nose a few weeks ago against Cornell. He's wearing the mask. Doesn't seem to be affecting him at all. Only back out to Wolf. Good deep. Leading to the break. Errol with Mbang in front. Good finish. Ben Zembang tried to pull the chair, and Errol didn't fall for it. Brown down four. Nolan looking for the ISO. Back to Mbang the Wolf. Don't guard him. He will shoot it. In and out, though. And this one's going to stay with Yale again. Back to back possessions. Offensive board. Yeah, but Yale's just sneaking a guy underneath and just. Getting a little hand on it gets you in another possession. Danny Wolf's frustrated. He knows he can make that shot. He's pretty open. 
Oh, Nolan just slips behind the D. Misses the layup, though. On a Wusunane there. He had the roll, he stopped himself. Carroll drops it off to him, kicks out Lesbert. And cold all day. Good rebound by Wolf. Tenth of the game for Wolf on the boards. Yeah, Yale's been great on the defensive boards. Brown's such a good offensive rebounded team. And it's been Yale who's been attacking the offensive glass in this half. Drop off to Wolf. Finishes over a Wusunane. It's so hard to guard with August Mahoney coming off the great shooter. Excellent pocket pass to Wolf. Really off a down screen, flared out. That's not going to go. And we'll just dribble out. First five minutes feels a little bit more like the game we expected. As Brown's trying to hang in, down six right now. From New York City, a trip to the dance. Punch their ticket to attorney again. Here are the five men's tickets that'll be punched today. Florida and Auburn in action as we speak. Duquesne has not been at the tournament in almost 50 years. They have a chance to get back there. VCU in the A-10. And the American is quite interesting with UAB and Temple. Yeah, and du Duquesne started A-10 play 0-5. Yep, I mean, they were, they were in a world of hurt. It's just another team that stuck with it. Jimmy Clark, Day Day Grant, Rusini Drame, who became famous in March a couple years ago. St. Peter's guy, transfer I should say. Seven on the shot clock. Kulikidis on it. And Wolf loses it, and that'll be a shot clock violation. Oh, yes, that will be. He tried the little killer cross. Tim Hardaway moved a little bit too much there. He had such a spectacular move on the break yesterday where he put it crossover behind the back. So you're seeing the handle, but sometimes you got to just make the simple play, shoot the pull up. He is a sophomore. And First year that he's had real major minutes for the Bulldogs. More of a bench player last year. First team unanimous all league selection. Number one, Danny Wolf and White was. A lot more to develop, but a lot of talent, a lot of great future ahead of him. Lily. Oh. Fourth block of the day. Yeah, send it away. It hit the wall. What a block by Danny Wolf. Showing you his range. I mean, he really moves like a guard, and it's not just on the offensive end. He can cover a lot of ground, he can slide. You can switch him on a pick and roll. We saw Nani can't get it to go. Wolf there again to bother him. Man, great look. Great ditch by Keno Lilly Jr. You gotta make that. A spot and he's fired. Ferrari now has three. Yeah, such a tough move to body control to come to the jump stop, and turn back around over the right shoulder. But pretty good job on the initial part of the drive, get him to stop, and then Bez Embang able to turn around, gets fouled. Had a great season in terms of playmaking for the Yale Bulldogs defensive player of the year. And as M. Bank steps forward to make one to two, it's amazing what Jim, jo James Jones has done here. You see the Ivy Tournament champions. They were in the final last year against Prince. They lost. They won the final in 2022. Remember in 21, the Ivy League did not play. In 2020, of course, was the COVID year. Yale won the straight up regular season title. But think about this. Before 2016, Yale was one of five the time six programs in major division one basketball. They've never been to the tournament. And they go, they beat Baylor in their first ever time there. And now it's become a mainstay. They are a lot to get in this tournament in the top four, it seems. And then to be in this position, it's just a remarkable job that James Jones has done with this Yale program. Yeah, he's great at locating talent, developing talent. You know, we talked about Mie Oni. He only had one other offer from Williams. It wasn't like he, he beat out a high major school. That guy got drafted from Yale. And every year. Every year. Yeah, he left Yale early. early. Crazy. And it just seems like every year there's another guy coming off his bench. He takes a giant step forward, and this year it's been Damian Wolf. Last year it was John Pulikidis. Apparently next year is supposed to be 10, Samson Alaton. We yep. have not seen him today, and 
I always feel like I ask James when I see him at this it's been every year this tournament All right, Where's the next guy because there's all by this time. It's the end of the year full year practice So Alex Copeland do it. He yep. didn't play a lot as a freshman and sophomore was MVP in this tournament Lily off the screen. Oh man, that is big past the lead Great job of the Rip Hamilton. Little fade high behind the screen. Brown trying to get to the tournament for the first time since 1986. Enders, the dirt slides over and they'll count it. Big play by Wolf. The Mount kind of dirt thought he was there. He was outside of the restricted area. But I don't know if he was there early enough. Got Danny Wolf rolling right here. Look at John Pulaki, this great pass. I'm watching the bottom of your screen. I, don't, I think it's a charge. I, I think he's there. I think you got to try to avoid that guy who's outside of the restricted. Of course, the rule changed this year. He has got to be set before the plant foot goes up. I guess the argument would be there with the plant foot, the left or the right. He kind of went off too. It was a great finish, nonetheless, by Danny Wolf. And a big answer for the Bulldogs. Off the stagger comes Lily. Loses M Bang. And M Bang, two white, is the two time Ivy League defensive player of the year. Lesper has got to get one to go eventually. Not that one. Lesper is now one for six in the three point line. We can take that. Lose the whole thought for Brought a point out. What a play by Kimo Ferrari. Good job by Mahoney to close out on. Lily, good drop off. The dirt. What a sequence by Kimo Ferrari. Came up with the loose ball. Look at this. Everybody wants to go to the dance. They're playing so hard. John Pulakitis on the ground. Then comes Bez Embank. Kimo Ferrari comes up with it. Passes up a three to play make inside Malachi Nadur up top in one. I thought he should have shot the three. He's passing it up. He would play make and he try to get three the old fashioned way. Pulakitas, uh, just mentioned playing hard, lost his shoe in the middle of that melee trying to get on a loose ball and to retie it. Knocks it down. Going back and forth here from Columbia University is the host venue here for the Ivy League Men's Championship. But Brown and Yale fans have flocked to New York City. Both teams playing so hard. They want a trip to March Madness. They want to go play in the NCAA tournament. <laughs> we saw him do it yesterday at a huge time. He did it again here. He loves that step back. Going to his left. Pulls it back to his right. Knocks it down. Huge shot. See Embang almost denied Lily at half court. Dirt shot, no good. Okay. Go back to Wolf to Mahoney. Floating. Mahoney can't get it to go. Usunani holds it in. The dirt, good leak out. Gets it to go. How about the dish by Kino Lilly Jr. Beautiful touch pass leading him. And Lindell Arrow with a physical rebound for Brown set it up. Lakitas the lefty. Maybe gets away the push up. No, he doesn't. And the offensive foul, and that's kind of his bread and butter move. How about this one on one basketball between now next year for now then Dartmouth Columbia has done a phenomenal job Let me shout out my alma mater moment for moment them the preparation the work men's and women's tournaments here great work Looking forward to going to Brown next year, but yeah, I, li I like the rotating sites, but Every team in the league should upgrade their facilities
You know, this, this is a high major league. It's the thir 13th best league in the country. And you're getting high major type players in. You gotta have the facilities be up to that level. And we will see if how Brown handles it. And Westbrook finally, that's how he handles it. Great job getting his feet set. He's now two for seven on the day and at a huge time. Cuts the deficit to one. Huge, huge shot. He was inserted into the lineup a few weeks ago. He's been a big part of the seven-game winning streak for Brown. He just gets a little airspace. Answers. And a good contest, too. He shot a contested shot. Nothing but net. Anya working on Townsend. Well, A.J. Lesberg. Finally able to get himself going. AJ Lesbrook off a little down screen, sets it up. And then John Pulakitis, one of the best shooters in the country, off a simple down screen splash. Finally, these teams starting to hit from the outside. First half was a bit of a grinder, a dogfight. Of course, teams playing back to back. That used to be the standard when we played in the league. Now it's you do it three times a year, so maybe guys aren't as used to it as the foul is on Nolan. Also, the, everything on the line here. And Brown hasn't been to the tournament since 86. Yale wants to get back there. A lot of nerves, just nervous energy early, it seemed, in the game. Yeah, without a doubt. And you, as a player, you're going to come up jacked up. And that doesn't help you make shots. Calmness, playing with a lot of poise. And once you get that first burst out of your system, you kind of settle in. Townsend reaches for no reason. And Anya was trying to take off on him. He picks up another foul quickly. He said he could have got called for the foul in the reach. And when you do that, you get yourself out of position. So Kalu Anya was able to just drive in and get fouled. Townsend picks up his third foul now. He's given good minutes off the bench. Oh, without a doubt. And he's a guy who can post, plays it physical inside. Right there, made a little bit of an error going for that steal. Sophomore from Chappaqua, New York. Went to the Hodgson School. Like many kids in this league, that New England Prep School League produces, what would you say, 70% of the players? Well, just Northfield Matt Herman produces 70% <laughs> of the players. And then, yeah. <laughs> Every guy in that team. Yeah. But those prep leagues are no joke. You, you go against high major guys all day, NBA players, so you come to college ready. And it gets them both to go again. That's been an issue for Brown this year. He's been free throw shooting 65% on the season, bottom 20 in the nation. But it's a boat. Lukitas is three for three from the three point line just in this half. Four and white trying to run off some screens in the baseline. It's been hot with this group. No Wolf, no Mahoney. Who's the guy? Townsend on the kick. No. And it, it's a make the shot for him. Good playmaking by Vez Hembang. Madur posting Nolan. Everybody's got to get away from him. Got to give him some room. And up and in. Tie ball game. Last lead that Brown had it was 5-4. to four. Dagger screen from Pulakitis. He gets it. The dirt corrals. A chance for. They got five on four. They got five on four. He fell down. They didn't take it. Inside to Anya. Going at Old Nolan. They're up. <laughs> 11 3 1. And Yale calls a timeout. Mike Martin is hype right now. Wants to take his alma mater to a place they haven't been since 86. And they're, they're on a hot streak seven in a row. They're looking to make it eight in a row. And they have not played well for stretches of this game. This would be a stunning victory. Yale was the favorite going into the season. They were up top the entire time during the standings. Remember, Brown just beat Yale on the road in New Haven eight days ago. They had complete belief. They beat Yale on the road. They beat Cornell on the road and then foul off the ball. Ferrari's got four now. And they beat Cornell, Yale, Dartmouth, and Columbia on the road four of those seven games. And if they get 
the chance to go dancing. It would be the 23rd team to go in sub 500 since the tournament expanded to 64 teams in 1985. Yeah, and they just knocked off Princeton, a Princeton yes. team that was 24 and three. They lost by four on the road to St. Joe's and two other losses to Cornell and Yale. That was a spectacular performance by Brown. And Brown does things differently, I think, than teams in this league. And Mike Barton has said that to us. They recruit differently, and they play in a different style. Yeah, he decided to go bigger, more physical, athletic bigs. And you see that with who he has on the floor right now. Malachi Nador and Kalu Anya. Playing through Nolan here, 12 on the shot clock. Former first-team only player two, two years ago. Dealt with injuries this year, but the Whirling Dervish spin and finish for to tie the game. And he makes it look so easy, dancing on the baseline there. Twinkle toes and the offhand delivery. Rory coming off a handoff. And Bang closes out on Lily. Dur high low. There was a mismatch with Mahoney in the interior. Anya gets it to go. Just a great high-low delivery, great trust between the bigs. Brown now up to 50% from the field the second half against the best defensive team in this league. Garam, what a rebound. Yeah, spectacular physical rebound by Yassine Garam. Wolf loves that dribble spin back to his right. Good scouting. They were there to get a piece but couldn't hold on to it. Seven on the shot clock. Nolan drops it off. Gets it up. And that's the shot clock violation. Hit. Well, Matt Noling, the senior for Yale, they're playing through him. Nobody comes. Spin move. In the league in terms of efficiency. Coming in here, this possession, what do you want to see out of Brown to try to execute out of the timeout? Well, the high low is going great. And if you got Keno Lilly Jr. flying off screens, it opens up the middle. There's Keno Lilly Jr., the leading scorer in the Ivy League, guarded by the two time. Defensive player of the year, Bez Embang. Nikitas over the screen. Ferrari over the handoff. Oh, drops Embang. Ooh. And the Sports Center highlight written all over it. That goes. And yeah. point lead. What a move. And Kima Ferrari actually missed Kalu on your roll and he was open. Picks up his dribble back to Pulitinas. He's unguarded. One of the best shooters in the nation. <laughs> Off. Wolf. Keeps it alive, but can't keep it. Nice advance pass to Anya. And a good foul by Mahoney. Brown players looking for a flagrant. The entire bench is looking for a flagrant. Yeah, right there. I mean, he leaks out. Nobody back for Yale. Dite yourself here on <laughs> national television. Oh, I was talking about you. I thought I was talking about you. Sorry. Your beverage is <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> Good foul, good leak out. Good job to not let him get an and one. That's the way the review system should work. That took about 20 seconds. And now Anya misses the free throw, but they checked it. They saw it. We were out. And again, though, this Brown team, 65% in league play from the free throw line in the season around the same area. Bottom 20 in the nation in free throw percentage. Yeah, we saw Princeton go to the foul strategy pretty early. They were down big. So they went to it with about four minutes left on the clock. If Brown has this lead, that's going to be a big story. That is big. We're team to get a lead. That is a lost possession there. Zanya now misses both after making both in his prior trip. Nolan wants it deep. He gets it. Back out to Wolf. A two main game of him and Embank. Ten of the shot. Great hands by Anya. Yeah, what a steal. He timed it perfectly. He's sitting on that spin move from Danny Wolf. Kicked out. Lily. Hesitates. Gets the roll. Biggest lead of the game for the Bears. What a move on the step back. Got deep in the paint. And it didn't matter that Bez Bank contested. They'd already got too deep in the defense. Bank. Help defense has been great for the Bears. He spins away from it. Oh, what a tip by Wolf. Blue on you got a hand on it again, but somebody's got to move Danny Wolf out. He's done a great job to reposition when the ball gets up on the rim. For that tip, Brown was on a 15-5 run. The Yale crowd now responding. Attack 
Kicking Wolf. Can't get it to go. The door. He's given three minutes off the bench. And he gives him a four-point advantage. He relocated on the drive. He didn't assume that Kaluanya would make the shot. And a physical finish inside from Alcon the door. Wolf in a lot of space. Finds Pulakitas. That's a great look. Doesn't get it to go, and Nolan's tip. He's got a good position back, possession back to Brown. The Brown fans starting to believe the improbable could become a reality. Seven straight wins from 6 and 17. In oblivion to a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, they're, they're just red hot. The Dur, he's got 12 on the game. He averages 3.6. What a pass! Anya couldn't quite come down with it clean. Oh. Yeah, if he caught it clean, he's gonna have another layup. Yale's got numbers. Trail to Wolf. The seven footer loses it. Off his leg, going the other way. Wolf's asking for a review. I'm sorry, sir. You can't have it. 3.48 left in the game. Under two minutes, you can. Here we go. The Ivy League final. He's got to think about being a passer, and he's a great passer. But he's got to expect the double team to come. Brown's digging. They're stunning at him, and they're just fully doubling him. He's got to look to set everybody up. I need to play through him at times late game. But first, they need to get a stop. Brown looking for their eighth straight win. Ferrari up the flag. Can't get it to go. I love that call. It would break. Out of timeout. Yeah, yeah, he's not even there. Maybe top three options. Little drift screen for him. He does shoot over 50% in league play from three, so it's a good shot, but doesn't go. Mahoney drops it off to Mbang. A lot of contact. They'll call the charge. They didn't need it. He had the little floater. Lower the shoulder. August Mahoney dishes it off when Kimo Ferrari comes. And right there, it's a good call. He can't go right through his chest. And now, looks like Yale may extend some pressure yesterday. Brown was up 22 against Princeton. And then when they started pressing, that game got within three points. Yeah, if you were a Brown fan, it got pretty scary for you if you were, if you were watching the Brown team break that press. And they were missing the long over the top pass. The bigs have to be ready to meet the ball. Dur comes to the ball. They lacked that yesterday. Out of the middle, they break it. The high loan game has been great for Brown. Blue Anya and Malcade and Dor working together. They've ridden the hot hand. The door has been really good. Mabusa and Nane has not come back in the game. Anya finishes through Wolf. Count it. He looked for the double team. He didn't see it. And he went into his one on one move. Kaluanya between the legs turns it into a post move and gets exactly where he wants to go to the right hand. What a strong move. You see the emotion. He wants to go dancing. He wants to go to the NCAA tournament. The Brown faithful are loving it. 14-4 run and he can't make it 15-4. Six point advantage. This Yale team again has been in the situation they lost last year in the final to Princeton. They worked all year to get back to this moment. Brown trying to get to their first tournament since 1986. And that stop may go a long way. Man, what a physical rebound. It's been a war under the boards. Under two and a half to play. Where do you want to see them go to here? Well, it's a high low. The two big guys working together. And then you got Keno Lilly Jr. flying off handoffs. Let him play make now. Six on the shot. Oh, and then a quick timeout by Mike Martin. Six on the shot clock. Let's see what he draws up in the break. They're going to take 30 seconds, as are we. Back to Levy and Jim at 30. Double A tournament. A lot of their fans are here and former players. Yeah, Pete Sullivan, Mark McDonald, Mark McAndrew, Huffman, a first teamer, Chris Strelja. From the late odd era, cheering on their Brown Bears here. And not executed out of the timeout. Turned over. Mbang in transition. Drops it off to Mahoney. Yes! And James Jones gets a timeout immediately. Big response off the of T.O. August Mahoney so dangerous in transition. A great shooter. Step right. 
in New Haven that gave the Bears the win there. Who will be the hero today? Durr sets the screen for Lilly. Tries to turn the corner. And then pressures him. Picks up the dribble, gets some help. Ten of the shot clock. Ferrari. Trying to turn the corner, drop off to Lesper. Number one! Kimo Ferrari sometimes looks like he's out of control, but he knows what he's doing. He located his teammate, and what a finish by A.J. Lesper. He's got space again. You can't give it to him. What a shot by August Mahoney. The Durham. That's good for Anya. They got that a couple possessions ago. Lily, pull up. Oh, buckets. And the quick timeout. By Mike Martin, he wants a full to reset his team as they're up four under a minute from history in this league in 68 years. The first 60, it was always the number one team in the regular season. Since the tournament started, it's been the one or the two seed every time. Mbang refuses the screen. He's got Pulakitas coming out. Can't get his feet quite set. Under 45, and back. Turns the corner, spins. Oh, through some contact, no good. Whoa. Pulls it in. He's got Pulakitas open and pull the long two. No good. Wolf again. Tipped around and Arrow was not fouled. Now they foul Lily. 27.3. Some of the faithful starting to believe a furious sequence under the boards. You want to win a championship, you got to rebound physically. What a rebound and save inside by Kalu Anya. Lily on the season. 89% free throw shooter. Nails it. Coming up later, the American Athletic Conference Championship, 315 Eastern on ESPN. Temple, UAB, both are bid stealers. We'll see who gets that chance to dance. Brown looks like they're going to have a chance to dance as well. They are 27.3 seconds away. Still a lot to happen in a five-point game. It's a bump. What do you want to see here? Two or three. Get into the paint and be ready to shoot it if you kick it out. Let Mione operate. And bang. Through some contact. Count it. Spets Embank, second team all league, the junior stepping through the contact and finishing. Bez Embang is so hard to guard in the open court. Goes to the Euro and one. And Kimo Ferrari gets his fifth foul in this game. Right here with the head of steam. Excellent Euro. Able to knock it down through contact. Bez Embang. So good, big free throw coming up for him. On the day he's 0 for 2 as a team, Yale is 4 for 9. So neither team has really capitalized at the so-called charity strike. Big shot to get it within a one possession game if he can. Also a big rebounding opportunity. And Yale could somehow get an extra, get an offensive board. And they will press. The big one here, you got a chance to try for a quick steal, then you got to give the foul. Work the baseline. That's a Wusu Anane, and he's not a good free throw shooter, so they gave it right away. Not terrible, but not the best. Just around 70% on the season. A yeah, huge one here is obviously just hit one, makes it a two possession game. And I like switching everything, coming back down the other way if you're Brown. It will be two shots right now for him. First free throws of the day on the, year, on the game. He's not had a great one. One for nine from the field. The Durham has taken a lot of his minutes in the second half as they've turned this deficit into a lead. 
effort. And the first one takes the pressure off. Huge pressure situation. And then Usuanade. Switch everything and turn Yale here. Make him pick it up. And then trying to get downhill. Drops up. Pook. He has a lot of space for him. In there. One point game. Timeout Yale. And Mike Martin upset at cooling because they shouldn't have given him that much space. No communication coming off the screen. They can run here. Looking for some help. Throws it to Lilly. Gets him to the sideline. Tough trap area. Back to the dirt. He's going to have to give it now. They do. Yeah, great play. They got it to the right guy, Keno Lilly Jr. And then Yale, you see the great coaching. They know not to foul him. They give it back to Malachi Nadur. Football play so unorthodox to guard. Runs the baseline and then just floats this pass towards Keno Lilly Jr. He comes up with it. That was a dangerous delivery. Really was and now 72 percent on the season is the dirt. Two shots. Back rims it. He'll have one more. Aaron Cooley set to check in. We will check in before the shot goes up. Offense, defense for Lesbert. So Yale's got to go. Get it to Bezem Bang. Let him create. Again, no timeouts for Yale. They have to go make the play here. Long again, and they get the board. Mahoney to end back. Seven on the clock. Foul. They had the foul to give, and they do give it. 6.1. Smart play. Mike Martin was screaming it from the sideline. Now they got six seconds. I don't think that changes much for Yale. They still want Bez Embank to be the playmaker. That has a clock going in your head here if you're a player. Wolf kind of unguarded at the top of the key. He'll take it. Looking for help. Drops it to Embank. Three, two, drops off to no 